Okay, so now we're going to quilt the pillow and I've already started here. What you're going to want to do is take double thread again and you're going to start in the back and you're just going to come straight up and go straight through and just make little stitches here and there randomly about a quarter inch apart and you're going to want to start in the middle like I said I had already started right here and I've, I'm just kind of slowly working around I'm going to um, eventually quilt this whole thing so I'm just making little short stitches one thing you don't want to do is go make really long stitches across the back so you're just going to stay close to what you just did and so it's it's that easy and once this is quilted it's done and you can go on so some ideas if you don't want to do random stitches is for instance on this I went around in a circle clearly and this I decided to stitch around but I didn't stitch in these um, polka dots that were on the fabric so you can do either one this one I just quilted black in the black things so let's see if I've got some other examples here here's an example where I stitched around these but I would suggest just randomly, you can tell I changed the fabric or the thread here from yellow to red. Um, here's another one that's not random. So once you get them stitched, you putting them together is a matter of if they're going to be flat, you're going to hold your little pieces up next to each other like so and you're gonna just stitch right along you're gonna stitch right along here and here and as it's laying on the table you're gonna keep it flat and stitch it like that so it it stays fairly flat if this is gonna be a journal which it could very easily be and that was gonna be the back and this is gonna be the front you're going to put it like this and you're going to stitch it back to back like that so it'll form a really nice light corner and that's the kind of stitch you're going to do if you want to do like a box or a bag or a purse or something like that and uh, so in terms of stitching in some paper after you stitch it like that going to make your signature like so. This is five sheets of Fabriano Artistico 140 pound hot press watercolor paper. And I just make my holes every half inch or so, but you want to make sure you have an even amount of holes. So just start poking through. They don't have to be even. And then you're going to just with the same thread that you've been using you're going to just start on the outside edge and go through go through the so you're gonna have a little knot here it's, it's gonna come right up here and it's gonna go in through that first hole and then you're just gonna go up and down up and down up and down until you get to the top and then you're just gonna knot it out here on the fabric and that's how you do a single signature journal by the way, you can see that on the back, I don't take as much time. This is just all ma hand, or not hand, machine quilted, um, a piece of fabric, like so. So, um, if you want to do several signatures, like this for instance, you would make a pillow that is long and skinny, and this one happened to be longer than what I needed when I got all done with it. And so I just took the extra and I folded it over so it'd be like a little, you know, like it was meant to be that way. 
and I just stitched it on there. So this is actually the inside of the pillow. And uh, so with this type of thing, what you what you want to do is you're going to get your block of paper and you're going to put it inside your journal. You're going to make little marks with a pen, like a ballpoint pen on this side and the bottom side. You can see those right there. And you just take a ruler and you connect the lines. And so that way, when you're sewing in your pages, you're going to see the lines there and you can sew right on the line. So you know exactly where to put your needle in. And uh, it, the reason these aren't nice and neat and straight stitches is because your needle doesn't necessarily go exactly straight through the fabric. It could go at a little angle, but it doesn't really matter. These are nice and straight in there, and uh, so it works. You can see there's another signature there. So lastly, I want to talk about the, the fringe that you can do. This is simply um rug hooking mesh that you can get at a fabric store or a craft store probably and i cut a piece out and then i zigzagged it on my sewing machine to keep it from unraveling and um this is actually a piece of tape that doesn't want to stay on there and then just get like go to the fabric store and get a rug hooking type of tool and it will have the directions on how to do this on the back of the package. And so just follow the directions, but you're just gonna, it's basically, it allows you to go in and rug hook a piece of yarn in every single square. And so if you interchange them like that, you have this, when I, you know, get down to the bottom, it's gonna be this huge spray of yarn and it will look like this. And then you can just kind of stitch it on. It's kind of tricky, but clearly you would want to sew your pages in if I was doing that with this journal before I put this on the spine. But you can pretty much sew it in there after that's all done. And I think that does it.